So that was study number 49 by Louis Fayard, studies of the young cellist. And this exercise, well, as you could clearly see, it was for the thumb position. It's a very beautiful etude, but it's a little bit tiring. I feel that my finger is burning. So if by any chance you're playing this etude and you feel the same, that's absolutely normal. Anyways, if you don't have the book or the PDF, link is in the video description below so you can open it, download it and well, practice right away. So today I will point out a few difficulties of this etude so that you practice the right way and not wasting time by practicing the wrong way. If this is the first time you come across my channel, nice to meet you, I am Ila Laprev, cellist. I create free cello lessons, tutorials and so on. So if this is what you want to see and to get on your feed, then consider to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And of course, any help or donation through Patreon is always welcome. You can find the link in the video description below. And now let's get started. First things first, I suppose that you're an intermediate cellist if you want to play this etude. This is not really suitable for beginners. But anyway, if you're a beginner, it's useful to see what is happening in the thumb position. So once your teacher is going to assign you to play thumb position, you have already more or less an idea. So stay until the end. First of all, your hand position is very important here. So make sure that your hand is slightly angled and rotated to allow your fingers to reach the strings comfortably. Can you see? So my fingers are above the strings. So for that, I need to rotate a little bit, maybe a little bit with my elbow, maybe a little bit with my wrist. That depends. You need to explore this, but make sure that you're not playing like that. So your elbow, he cannot really move uh, to the back. That's a common mistake. Another common mistake is when people hold their elbow too low like that. So all the weight goes down and Okay, you maybe can play the first finger. Well, anyway, it's already out of tune, but... So see, the second finger is already completely wasted and the third finger, you cannot even reach it. So make sure that you hold it steady. So be careful that you're not holding your elbow to the back, because that's wrong, and neither hold it, you know, low, because like this, you cannot reach the fingers. Maintain it steady very organized and disciplined and make sure that all your fingers are above the string. So the only thing that you need to do is to drop each finger like that. Uh... Now, next step, what you need to be careful here is accuracy. So accuracy is key when playing in thumb position, especially this exercise here. So Pay attention to your finger placement and intonation. So you really need to map your finger ball for that. You need to know what is a half step, what is a full step. So let's say at the beginning of the etude, it's a full step. So C, D, then we have D, E. That's also a full step. Now we have a half step, E, F. So this is very important. And how can we learn this process? How can we get better at this? By knowing like uh, the finger placement, just by doing skills. Again, in a future video, I will make a warm up uh, exercise video where I will play drill material for thumb position. So that would be very useful if you could follow along with me. I will make a video about it. I will put a score and then you just can play along with me. It's really, really, really good because it helps you to understand where each finger has to be placed. Now, another common mistake is that people, they tend to press, to grip too much on their thumb. That's a difficult one. Uh, the thumb, he just works as an anchor. He's the support, unless you use the thumb to play, like the first note, the fiar. Of course, we press on the string, but then when we play the next note, we need to release a little bit. So we are actually using the finger that we need. So make sure that you're not pressing the whole time your thumb. Because if you are pressing whole time your thumb, after two measures, you're out. It's game over. So make sure on the moment you use the thumb, of course, you press, but not too much also. Enough weight. Put enough weight here. Then when you're going to put the first finger, make sure that the thumb is more relaxed. Of course, it stays on the string as a support. And keep going, relaxed. 
So an exercise I can give to you is like this. You play a normal scale, C major, or if you will, D major, if it's easier for you, because we have the harmonic here. Sorry for the out of tune. But what you can do is like this. Let's say D major. Fine, you play. Now, when you do the first finger, and then take out your thumb and rotate him. Put your back, second finger. Relax. Back, relax. Fine, we're using this finger. Now, first finger, and relax. So this is a good exercise. So you make sure that your thumb is relaxed when you're not using him. Now a quick tip here in this exercise here to make it more beautiful is for the right arm, because it's so easy. We have so much to focus here on the left hand that we completely forget about the right hand. But right hand plays a crucial role for intonation, because if you're gonna start to press, let's say the first notes, It creates a terrible sound, first of all, and it creates an un unstable intonation. So instead, make sure that you're playing relaxed, as you would play an open string, very gentle. So that kind of motion would be uh, for the whole exercise. Uh, no stress. Anyway, the challenge in this piece is going to be the left hand, not the right hand. The right hand, you're just moving, you know, from down, up, down, up. But make sure that you're not tensed there. Actually, tension is a word that should be out of your vocabulary, especially the cello vocabulary. Feel free. Be generous with the amount of bow. So don't get, you know, too limited, because if you get too limited, you get this. Uh... So see, first of all, out of tune and it doesn't sound beautiful. Be generous, be free. And that's it for today's lesson. It's just, you know, pointing out the bad habits that can occur during this etude and the things that you need to be careful, you know, in order to make it sound more beautiful. So again, as mentioned before, in the near future, maybe next week or in two weeks, I will make a step-by-step -step guide for thumb position, more suitable for beginners. So remember to practice this regularly, listen closely to your playing, don't let any note escape. This is a common problem. You know, once we play in tune, we get happy, we move on, but you're just starting. You need to do this, so in order to feel really stable in your left hand. Well, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.